Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your daily check-in for Thursday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And I'm going to bring in the Angel Tarot today to pull an energy around the feminine, the masculine journey to see what's going on and what we need to know. And such powerful energy coming in with the ladybirds and the power of change in this new year and there's lots of magic ahead. So I'm excited to see what the angels want us to know. And if you would like more of a personal reading with me, you can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around the divine feminines? What's the energy, please, around the divine feminines? There we go. The energy, please, around the masculine absolutely flew out the deck there. And the energy around the journey, wow, flew on the camera, wow. And yeah, that's it, I thought there's another one going to move, but it didn't. So let's start with the masculine energy today then. So the masculine energy, we've got the page of fire. Now this is really powerful because they're showing you they're in a better energy. They want to come forward with good news. There's good news ahead here. So news of an exciting new endeavor. So the masculines are becoming more confident and want to change and they're becoming more creative they're becoming more outgoing and even more mischievous so this is such a huge sign of their transformation in this new year they are now using their integrity more and their passion more and their power more to be able to move forward so they are wanting to use their originality and they are really wanting to do things their way. So the masculine is saying, I've got some good news I want to share with you that I am now creating my life my way. I'm becoming stronger and more confident and I'm rising above the past. And what I'm really seeing in this card as well is the dragon energy. And obviously this year we move into the year of the dragon. So that's such a huge sign of changes and taking flight and movements. And I'm even seeing the eagle in that too. So I'm seeing there as the masculine in that dragon energy, you know, like wearing a dragon suit and rising above. So he's showing you he's taking control. Yeah, he's definitely rising up. Look at this coming out the water, you know, kind of rising up. If he's being bogged down by the holidays and the struggle of 2023, he's now moving past that. So he's healing things around childhood. He's healing core wounds. He's rising above them. He's dealing with things connected with his karmic situation or his children. And he's taking control of himself to be able to move forward. And I feel this romanticizing the past is actually about realizing where his heart truly belongs and what he needs to do. So I'm seeing this as the masculine beginning to breathe again, become free again, and to be able to move towards you the right way. And the six of water is about reunion. So a reunion energy coming and that's good news. So the masculines are in this energy of good news. Now the feminine energy, we've got the night of earth. So you know that they are coming. You feel it. You know it. You know your twin is loyal to you. You know that you are both dedicated on this journey. You know that they are taking the honourable route to you. And that's making you very kind and loving and compassionate towards them. The night of earth is such a powerful message because it's a message of eventual positive outcome. It's about you knowing the truth. So you know that you are getting things done. You know you're buckling down and getting things done. So you may have started this new year thinking about your goals and dreams, setting your intentions, updating your vision board, getting ready for what's ahead. Maybe you're back at work now and you're thinking, right, I'm going to get things done. I know what I want. And you are also honouring your commitments, the things you've come here to do. You have a guardian angel watching you and you know you have. So you're connecting more with your angels, your guides, your loved ones in heaven. But definitely you may be connecting with your guardian angel. And I feel your guardian angel is helping you to be this pillar of light on the earth. So you know it's time to get things done. You know it's time to work on and on your commitments. You know it's time. So for you, Divine Feminine, I feel this is about you moving into alignment with your spiritual path and goals. So maybe you're thinking, right, this is the time now when I'm going to find that job, when I'm going to go self-employed, when I'm going to start that business, when I'm going to really put time, effort and dedication into the things that I love to do. And that's moving things forward. And that's also taking your attention away from your masculine and their journey into yourself. And that's leading them towards you as well. So the night of earth is saying to you, there will be eventual positive outcome in every area of your life because of who you are, because you are loyal, you are dedicated, you are honorable and kind. And when you're operating in those energies, you're going to receive them back. So this is about the masculine coming to you in a loyal way. 
showing you he's dedicated to the journey, that he's honourable with you, he's got honourable intentions, he wants to come to you in an open-hearted, kind way, he wants to give you good news, he wants to share love. And he is doing the work to move forward. So a big message here about big changes. And the energy around the connection, we've got the seven of there. So this is saying plans just need a little bit of revision right now. You just need to move away from or move on from anything that isn't serving you. You know, there's more going on than meets the eye. It could be poor timing. So it may not quite be the right time to be together, but that time is coming. Because it's going to be eventual positive outcome. So this is saying again, you don't need to rush things. You don't need to force things. Just allow things to flow. Everything is starting to make to make sense. And I feel as we move into the new week, there's going to be a big shift anyway. It feels like, you know, this is kind of the remnants of the holidays and getting over the new year period. You know, alcohol, too much food, too much stress, all of these things. And then moving forward in a brand new way. So plans may need a little bit of revision. It may mean you have to revise something. So you may have to get more information on something to be able to take it in a new direction or to work on it. And I feel, again, this could be connected with work itself. But plans just need a little looking at. And the Moscans are saying this, and I just need to tweak a few things. I just need to work a few more things out because I want to move forward and I move, want to meet, move away from anything not serving me. So there is more going on than meets the eye. So don't worry, don't get triggered, don't get frustrated. Just say, you know, I know my journey is in divine timing and the timing isn't quite right yet. It's poor timing in this moment, but things are moving ahead. So I want to bring in, we're going to bring in the angel numbers oracle as well. So let's get an energy around the feminine. Straight out for the feminine, we've got don't give up. Very powerful message coming through. So your angels are giving you the number 22 or 222 or 2222 to remind you to carry on, to persevere. Don't give up. Don't give up on your twin. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on what you want. Get an energy around the mask and it jumps on the floor. Doors are open. Wow, look at that. So... The number 83 around the mask and saying the doors are open. The opportunity is there. You've just got to walk through the door. You know, we can lead a horse to water, but we can't make it drink. It has to do that itself. So, you know, the maskins have been in resistance to this because they haven't been able to move through that door because of their obligations, because of the holidays, because of all of these things. And they've been holding themselves back, but now there's no reason for them to stop themselves from moving forward. There's no reason anymore for them to hold them back. And even though it's scary, they want to walk through those doors. So the doors are open and the universe is showing that. And they may well see 888 or 333 as a sign to our faith, the ascended masters, I feel, are guiding the masculines to make these changes, to walk through these doors that are leading to abundance and blessings. So feminines, if you're seeing 333, have faith. If you're seeing 888, it's a big message that your dreams are manifesting. And the energy around the connection, we've got two cards, we've got 96. So releasing the ego fears to follow your true path. So releasing the ego, the ego is connected with the number six, 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 six is the ego, the fear, nine, nine, nine is the energy around the spiritual journey. So the fears are being released to follow the true path here. And also you're on the right path, 17. So if you've seen 17 or combinations of it, the angels are saying to you, you're on the right path. Why? Because there's going to be an eventual positive outcome. Everything is working out beautifully. There's no need to fear. Even if it's poor timing today, it doesn't mean it's poor timing tomorrow. Those doors are open, so don't give up. You're on the right path. All you need to do, all your masculine needs to do, is release fear and ego to feel free and to be at peace and make that change. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.